Detective Comics number 1014 was published few days ago and continued with the return of Mr. Freeze who managed to revive his deceased wife Nora. The cover shows Mr. Freeze holding Batman's torn cape, but in fact they did not fight in this book. Sometimes covers might be more interesting than the content itself. We last saw how Freeze kidnapped many women and subjected them to scientific experiments to revive his wife. He used the serum which Lex Luthor gave him to fulfill his deepest desire. We also saw how Batman confronted Freeze and fought him in this amazing new suit, but Freeze managed to escape. Batman, however, brought the kidnapped woman to his Batcave to try to save them before it's too late. The last issue ended with Freeze awakening Nora. The first thing she said was, Victor, don't. The book opens with the revived Nora blaming Freeze for bringing her back to life. She did not want to be frozen and wanted to fight cancer on her own terms. Freeze put a helmet on her head saying that she wanted to fight a foe that could not be defeated. She wanted to take off the helmet, but Freeze said that she should keep it on until her temperature hits absolute zero. Nora, however, insisted that she wanted to breathe and took the helmet off. She said that she feels like dead, but Freeze said that she is quite alive. He always dreamed of touching, holding, and kissing her. In the Batcave, Batman found that he needed more advanced equipment to help the women who were kidnapped by Freeze. He decided to test the blood samples at the Wayne Tech Lab in the presence of Lucius Fox, the president of the Wayne Enterprises, and one of Batman's closest allies. Suddenly, Freeze and his wife broke into the place and attacked Bruce and Fox. He froze them both using his freezing beams. Bruce said that it's a miracle that Nora was revived, but Freeze did that by sacrificing other innocent lives. Freeze said that he came to get the compound of his creation to help finalize Nora's resurrection and allow her to have the same mobility he has. He lost the compound when Batman recently attacked him, but he left other mislabeled samples in the Wayne Tech where he used to work years ago. He got the compound and left with his wife. Later on, we see that Nora regained her ability to move freely without the suit and the helmet. She became able to dance again as she used to dance in the past. They left the ballet theater, which was frozen with the audience inside. The book ends with a large symbol appearing in the sky. Freeze remarked that this is the sign of Lex Luthor, who has just made his opening statement. Let me know what you think about this run so far, and don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Thanks for watching, and have a nice one.